So you're having a super bomb hair day and you've got to capture this moment, but you don't know how to get that perfect selfie. Well, in this video, you guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stunt on Instagram by getting the perfect bomb selfie. Hey y'all, what's up? So today I'm bringing you guys three steps on how to get the perfect bomb selfie, okay? So these are three things that I use on a regular basis, if not every day, because I probably take a selfie a day. Um, and so I'm gonna be showing you guys the things that I do to make sure that I get the ultimate selfie. So the first tip I'm gonna be talking about is lighting. Lighting is so important, and it's probably the most important part of taking your bomb selfie, okay? So I like to take my selfies in front of a large window that has direct sunlight coming through. That's the best time to take selfies, especially like in the morning, uh, midday, is the perfect time to take selfies because you're getting the ultimate amount of sunlight coming through your windows. And sometimes even being outside can give you really a really amazing photos but I like doing them inside in front of a window because the glass kind of uh, softens the light a bit and so that it's not like blaring into your face and making you like squint in your pictures now you can also use artificial lights. so I like to use umbrella lights or soft boxes or a ring light all to make sure that you can get that really great lighting to make your photo quality really superb and so but the thing is with artificial lights you have to really make sure that it's balanced so you don't want light hitting you on one side of your face and not the other you want it to be balanced on both because really you're imitating natural light that's what you're doing with artificial light so never try to get really really like direct light because it can make you look washed out and so if you do have like a lamp that you want to use that you have at home don't directly place it in front of you get like a t-shirt or a thin cloth and place it over the bulb and so that the light is a bit softened and it's not so drastic on your skin now if you don't do all that you can still like play with filters and make the light softer um, or brighten things up if you need to but yeah lighting is so important and probably the most important hence it is number one number two is going to be balance so I'm talking about balance in your photos as far as angles and where you place the camera how far your arm length goes out ab above you or below you all those things matter because it looks awkward when you have like you know a big part of your head or something else is focused in the picture so as humans our eyes look for symmetry so we look for balance and so if you want your pictures to look really amazing you have to make sure that they have some balance so um, and nothing like crazy distracting in the in the background but you want the focus to be on you because it's a selfie right so you want to have balance in your photo and especially if you're a curly girl like me or you just want to take bomb hair selfies I always make sure that my hair is taking up a lot of the frame so you guys can see like right now even the way that I'm sitting on camera I'm making sure that I'm in the middle that my hair is equal on both sides if I'm wearing this type of style if I was wearing my hair to the side like this that would be fine too but again my hair is as out so it's proportioned even to my face like it's not like super flat or super super big but I could do super big but yeah you just want to look for balance a lot of times um, you can tell when a picture is just like weird or awkward so balance is a big thing um, and I always make sure that my hair looks as big as possible on camera and in photos so sometimes I'll like take all of my hair even from the back and push it to the front um, to make my hair look even fuller and then I always always pick my hair out before I take a selfie so I keep my pick very very close to me at all times or fluff my hair at least so I really get in my roots and kind of shake my hair out so that I can really like just live <laughs> in the picture. Okay, so balance is number two. Number three are your apps. 
So your apps are really important. And the apps that I use all the time are Facetune and just the regular like photo adjustment like app in your iPhone. And so I use these two apps the most. And like Facetune is one that's really, 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 really popular. And it is popular for a reason because it's awesome. But you have to be careful with it because some people can go a little crazy with Facetune. You don't want to over soften or over detail your photos to make them look unnatural. Facetune should help you make your photos just look more enhanced and better. So like for me, when I use Facetune, I like to soften my skin just a little bit, not too much, but just a little bit to make it look a little nicer. And then I like to do details on my hair, especially if my hair is curly. And if you have textured hair, you wanna show the texture. And so a lot of times people are like, oh my gosh, your curls are popping in that photo. Facetune helps with me with that. Facetune allows me to kind of give a little bit more detail on my my curls so that they look extra extra pop in for Instagram and also if you have a camera so I am using my Sony a5100 camera and I recently got this because I wanted to take even better photos for Instagram and filming and all that and this is the camera that I'm filming with right now but I also am now just using photos from this camera for Instagram so I'm kind of shifting from using just my iPhone to take photos for Instagram to use Using this camera because this camera is awesome biggest thing about it is that it has Wi-Fi capability so I can literally send photos straight from this camera to my iPhone and then edit them the exact same way that I would on my iPhone straight from my iPhone camera so if you do are looking for a camera going forward definitely get a camera that has Wi-Fi in it because then you can make sure that all of your photos are at the optimum quality um, beyond even the iPhone Phone's capability. I know some uh, phones out there, if you're not like an iPhone person or Apple person, a lot of Androids and Samsungs or whatever have um, really great cameras, so you can use that. But what I use is um, now and for the past week or two has been my uh, Sony camera for selfies and whatnot, and that is what I film with also now. All right, y'all, that's all I've got for you. Those are the three steps that I take to take bomb selfies. So remember, it's lighting, balance, and apps, okay? Filter apps. But with this third one, be careful. You don't want to overdo it. You just want to enhance what you've got a little bit more, okay, guys? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe.